Welcome YouTubers. Um, so I have my breadboard and I have a, a seven second square. I don't know if you can see. It's changing, right? It's doing one H L. It has different letters R U N zero one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c d e f g h l r u n etc so it's in a loop right so uh so this this seven segment display is a common anno display so as you can see here the power goes to pin 3 and 8 I believe right so uh, so we're going to try to put this in KiCad make it make it more compact right so let's see what do we have here what do we have here okay so this this display um, this display uh, it was from the this part H DSP 75 that's also a common anno uh, seven segment display but this is a different part the power the power goes on different pins it also has seven pins I mean ten pins so um, so what we need to do is um, modify this part to be for this uh, for this seven segment display which is called S let me see let me see if I can see 5161BS right so uh, sort of uh, what we need to do okay so this part of this schematic we can use it right so the only thing we need to change is this symbol so we're going to make a new one right so we're going to go to properties edit with library editor right it's loading okay now we're going to go and say file save as and we're going to put it in this library and we're gonna call it we're gonna call it we're gonna call it we're gonna call it fifty one sixty one fifty one sixty one BS right BS BS and we're going to put in this library and we're going to hit save okay now now that's the first part so we're going to save that as that now what do we need to do we need to change that we need to change that we created this folder called data sheet so what do we need to do you see here this you see here you have the pin layout right so it says that 3 and 8 it needs to go to power so what do we have we don't have that we have something else right so, so we got to rename so three, right? So three and a is going to be power. So I don't know, I don't know one and I two so 
I don't know, one, this is gonna be three, right? Uh, I don't know, two, it's gonna be the number eight, right? Okay. So now let's look at the letters, right? A is gonna be seven. So A, 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 gonna be seven. And then B, let's look at the ring, right? A, so it's the same as this one, right? Look at that. So we have this, 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 right? So, so the pin arrangement says so we got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So look at the schematic here. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, and the middle G, right? So all that we got to do is match the pin numbers, right? So the anodes is 3 and 8. So now we got to do this, this side and this side. So, so F, F, let's look at the pin. F is pin 9. So we got a pin 9 here. F, we make this 9. Okay, and then G, what is G? G is pin 10. Okay. G, so this 3 changes to 10. 10, okay. What's next? G. E, what is E? E is pin one. E is pin one. So, so we modify in this part, right? So, even this information down there. Let's do that for now. Okay, E. What other properties does it have? Oh, oh that's where it is. So, footprint is the same. Uh, maybe the data sheet. We gotta click this out, click this out. With this um, the manufacturer part, manufacturer name, the Mauser part number, different, that's different. This is called BS fifty one sixty one. Yes, fifty one sixty one. Yes, right. Which part number is okay? So let's change. Okay, we were left to E. We gotta go E D. What's D? D is pin two. D is pin two. So go here two. Yeah, we're using this because I like the picture. The point, the point is by by. So now we got five here. Okay. C is four. Plus four and 
be a six. Okay, save it. And I believe everything is right. 5161 BS. Let's double check. Make small here. Put this. Make it smaller. Take this out. That's the data sheet, right? Right, okay. So the annals are in three and eight. Anno 1, Anno 2, 3 and 8. That's correct. Then we do A is 7, B is 6, C is 4, that is 5, D is 2, E is 1, G is 10. And the F is nine, right? Okay, so it looks everything looks great. All right, so we're gonna save it. Save it. Save it. Okay, so we have our schematic here. So. So what are we going to do now, right? I have all these nets already aligned. Now, let's put our new symbol here. Let's go to segment. Okay. 5161BS, that's the one we just made. Right. And as you can see, it looks the same as this one, right? But the paint rounds are totally different. You see, on um, for this display, the common anodes on one and six totally different from this one. So that won't work. Now we take delete this one. Uh, move this one, and it should. It should line up right into place like that. Okay, so power three and eight. Okay, and the other thing we're gonna add over here in the schematic is showing. Oh, I have here also a reminder. I know it's positive. Kato is negative. Positive, negative, right? So positive power, and this is connected to a switch. When you close it, it's gonna gonna go to ground. Current gonna go through here. It turns it on, right? Over here, put some headers and some uh, from test points. So I can grab that and grab the ground and this uh, in my heart. So let's look how it looks like. So let's check for DRC. The other not annotated is another required. Okay, so we need to annotate because this one doesn't have a reference, right? So now we hit the two annotate. So that's going to annotate that one. Okay, close. Right. So now we should run the DRC, run it again. Okay, no errors. Right. Generate a netlist. And now go to PCB. Bring the netlist in. It's thinking. It's 
coming. It's coming. Where is it? Busy. Yeah, busy, busy. Oh, I think it's gonna crash. No. <clears throat> the crash. Okay, that usually doesn't take that long. Oh, it's uh, not responding now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, now I did it. Okay, I think I crashed it. Very good, I crashed it. All right. Oh no. Okay, it's back. Took some time though. Generally, yes. Close. Okay, and this is our seven segment display with ten pins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So that's the first thing, right? Okay, so all the parts are here. Uh, this doesn't look uh, very difficult to lay it out. Let's make it, uh, let's see how it looks here. There's all our parts right here. I picked the wrong, the wrong height. This is supposed to be male. Okay. This is supposed to be male, so because the Arduino has a female header, so it comes out with the jumper. Okay, maybe we leave it. We leave it female, so it goes in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, female to female, then we use the male. Okay, so let's leave it like that. All right, so we have these parts. Now, let's see the board is big, right? Let's put in a two by two. Okay, two inches. All right, so now we let's gonna make a outline. So we're gonna pick edge cuts, the layer edge cuts. We're gonna pick the tool here, and we're gonna say let's make it our zero here. You see on the bottom it's gonna change it dx and dy over here, over here. That's gonna change to zero. So watch, watch, zero. So we go up. We are in inches. So. If we go down, uh, positive, right? Let's make it two. Remove, see? It's crooked. I'm going to keep on zero. Right. Two. Right? Take your time. Two, right? Zero, two. Click it. Maybe it's too big. Make it. Maybe we will make one five. One five. Make it one five by one five. One five. Go back to 
Let me throw her there. That's the closure there. That close. So it's one five by two. Two one smaller. I don't know, let's see what, let's put everything in, see how it looks. Okay, let's put the okay escape select the footprint move. Okay, let's move this one over here. Move. Move M for move. Let's put this one here. Move. Put this one here. Okay. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, so that looks like yeah, somewhere, right? So let's put the switch here. That's ground. Let's put the display here. Next one. Let's see how it plays out. Let's see how it plays out. Okay, now I think I'm going to be out of the screen so you can see, you can share the screen here, bigger, you can see better. Let me get out of the way. Okay, so what's next? Move. See how it's crossed out, I don't no, it's not crossed out anymore. So let's put that on there. Move. Rotate. Put that on there. Move. There's another one here. No M for no more. That one there. Let's 
Still have space here, we can move this way. And uh, the last one here. Place them. Rotate. like that okay and then our headers move maybe from here and where is our power Three and eight. So maybe we come this way. Drop this way, power. Oh. Power here. Okay, so <clears throat> that's how it's looking, right? So when we turn the switch, maybe now. Did this we arrange A B C D in the schematic right? So because we thought it was different, right? But now the pins are in different locations. So Maybe A B we got A F F is on the other side. So let's see what pins we have in this size. Let's try to rearrange this. Because it was an order now. Now it changed. Now we have. Now we have. E. D. E. D. E and D.
Now can rearrange this in a way that I have less crossings. Let's see. I have a track weight, let's put a fifteen. I go from there to there. Go down, right? Uh, that's going to be in the way. You can make it better. Now I am looking at this. Mm, I don't think two, four, five. I don't think we have the correct footprint for this. Mm -mm. This won't work because looking at my device, right, which is right here, let's put it back. As you can see, I'm looking at the back of it. I'm looking at that footprint on the screen. This has five pins on top and five pins on the bottom, horizontal. That is on the side. So, Definitely we got the wrong footprint. We got the right um, we got the right uh what's it called uh, we got the symbol right but the footprints not the right. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let me take out my cell phone screen. So now that we have, okay, so we got different problems here, right? We make that device so we can look for something closer to that. Let's search for that. Seven. Seven segments play. I won't do it. So let's just put this play. Play. Look at this, I put it up there. Oh, seven seconds, huh? Two, four, five. Mm, so 
something there would be close to what they have. That's not near close to what we have. No. That won't work. Okay, I guess I don't have it. I don't have something close to that. So now what do we do? What do we do? We modify, right? Okay, the holes are gonna work out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at the data sheet. What are the data sheet says? Say one fifty six. Is on Chinese twelve six. So there you go. Two point fifty four four. So two point fifty four plus two point fifty four is five something and seven. So from here to here is ten sixteen. All right. And then each one is spaces at two fifty four. Okay, so okay, so edit right properties. Edit letter from edit first thing. Okay, we don't want to screw up right now, now. so let's just do edit first thing. Okay, there's a great. Four nails, right? That's what it says. Oh, well, 
Chinese man, I don't understand that. Okay, so this is this. That's it, man. Yeah, nothing else. Whoa, this is messed up. Okay, so degrees. Inches two fifty four. I the pins are thing is gonna be two fifty four apart. Two fifty four is prototype two fifty four. Okay, so these are my prototype. I'm thinking this is two fifty four males. Okay, so now we'll go back here. Let's put a grid at pads. Okay, I think we're gonna save this for another video to modify this. What is our grid right now? Two fifty four. Okay, so M. Okay, so let's change the unit and let's see the one. Two. Five four, right? Two five four. Okay, from that's it. So that's zero. Now we'll do the same thing from here. Three. Move. Now from here. That's zero, and let's make it to fifty four again. And zero. Okay. Now let's take this one, move. Let's make that zero, and move to fifty four. One, two, three, four, five. So five pins. More. Okay. Move this one. Five. Move. Line it up. No, I move two fifty four. Not this way. Not that way. Straight. Precision, precision, two fifty four. Okay. So 
that's fine. Six. Okay, so this one's lined up with that one. So let's move seven. No. So six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's move that one. Move. Okay, make it zero. Move to fifty four here. There, not there, not there. There, right. And then, oh, make that one zero and move to fifty four. Four and Y zero. A go. Now I'm gonna move this one. This is the line. So now we're gonna move this one. Move this out of the way. I take seven. Okay. Go this way. Fifty four negative there. Oh, I moved the wrong one. No, I need this one. Eight minus two fifty four. Right? Y zero. Okay. Take this one, move and for move, make this one and move to fifty four negative. There, right? Take this one, and double that one, zero out. There. Okay. So now it looks like that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So oh. now we move. Okay, what this line is a courtyard, courtyard. Okay, do we have a tool to measure and spell? Yes. We're going to measure from this hole to that hole. 10 millimeters, 10, 16. 10, 16, right? What the schematic said here from this center of that pin to that pin 1016. Do we nail it or what? Yes, we did it right center to center 1016. 
Very good. Now, the other one. The other one is. From the center of the top to the bottom should be 15, 15. Well, let's see. Tools, no, inspect, measure from here to here. 15, 16. Ten. What did it say here? I'm not, I'm not reading this way. Okay. Twelve point six. Fourteen point two. What did they say? The total length is nineteen. The total length is nineteen. Okay, so we got the pins in the right positions. So uh Okay, let's measure this bit. Measure from here to here. Twenty sixteen. No. The length. All right, let's say, say change to boil. Okay, let's see how it looks. Let's close it. Let's see how it looks. Whoa. Okay, so let me take my okay, let me take my calipers. Let's measure this thing. Okay, so let me take the power out. I'm just gonna take power. Okay, so let's see this can I say fifteen twenty four. Okay, so it's fifteen roughly fifteen fifty eight. So I'm thinking it's fifteen twenty four millimeters. Okay, let's take myself right here. Let's go back. Properties edit footprint. We're just modifying this one right now, okay? Another one in the library, okay? So, let's move this one. Move. It's gonna go down. 
Okay, that one we don't need them all. Okay, so... So we're gonna take this one. Move. And we're gonna zero... Okay, we're gonna zero this one out. And go down. Fifteen, fifteen, twenty-four. Just that. Fifteen, twenty-four. Right there. Okay. Thing. Okay, let's measure from here, here, fifteen twenty four. Fifteen twenty four millimeters. Okay. So now we have this one lined up with that one. Now we need to move each one. Now that's going to be zero. Okay, so move. Let's make it zero. Two, five, four. Okay, so let's measure, let's save this to inspect. Um, yeah. Okay. Save it. Okay. Where is this line? There, courtyard. So we have a Y and X, so we gotta modify these lines too. Thickness. What's this other line? Fabrication. Thickness. Now let's go back to inches. Imperial system. So 
that's two. That's three. That's two thing I think. Should make it seven. What about this one? E. That's seven. Okay. Great. Zero. Then G for drag. Chief of Drag. Somewhere. Now let's make tools measure from here. Fifty two. That's close enough. Okay, well we have the courier now. Mm. 
This one from here to here. I think it's very longer. Tools measure here. Right there. Back measure from here. This is eighty three. I'm saying, okay, that's close enough. G.
looks more like a Is that more? Over here. Okay. Almost got this. Almost. Graphic line, it's supposed to be graphic line. Oh.
Okay. Hmm. Is that perfect? Almost. 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 Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit safe. I little bit quicker here. But okay, we start from nothing. So we got something now. Let's say that. David. View, 3D view. It is. This is not the real. Second is this is a little bit bigger. Uh huh. Okay, so go back. There. Put right here.
Honda. All right, all right, so um, let's lock it. It doesn't move. Okay, put this one, put bring E, the properties, lock it. Okay. Say that out. And make a couple of play on the top. Do that one. Crown. Okay. Another one there. Go there. Go there. Couple of plane on the bottom. Over there. Wow. Okay. Okay. Close on our line. Okay. Save it. Top. We're looking so far. As you see, not touching. Ground should be. Okay, that's what I expect ground to be. Right there, set it up. Something here, something there. Okay, this is not connected. This is just not connected. That's what I expect. Okay, let's view it. Something like that is going to look like, right? Getting close. Getting close. Okay, so. I think we had enough for today. We did a um, modification. We uh, we we modify we modify we modify the footprint. We modify the symbol. So we did all kinds of good things, right?
and and it looks like we got something on. We have um, something that's gonna look like a bore. Um, so we still gotta do the rest of it, right? We still gotta do the rest of it, which is. Uh, I think the next session is going to be about laying out this board and adding a 595 IC to this so that we use only three lines from the Arduino instead of eight lines. Because each of these lines will be represented a pore from the Arduino. And we don't have that many ports in the Arduino. So our best bet here is to use a 595 uh, IC. And we're going to use only three pins. And then we're going to drive the LED. Just like I did in the, the breadboard. Uh, this is just get us going. Let's just have a visualization of how we're going to end up. And we have accomplished that. And now uh, we are ready to route, I think. But I don't know. Um, let's see. So let's see. We're gonna do another sheet, and we're gonna bring another schematic. So that's gonna be for the next video. So we're gonna cut it out here, and we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you how to do the sheet, and we're gonna route this whole thing with the 595 IC. So let's stop here. And I think this is good. Thank you for watching. See you next time.